Hey, aloha kako. Holy moly, lots of things have been going on lately. Where do I even begin? Okay, so the bill to change the name of Kahakai Beach Park to Waiakahi Ula Beach Park has officially passed. Yes, uh, I also got to see Janet Jackson live on Oahu. And just a couple days ago, myself and more than 350 dancers from Kukuena, it's supposed to say Unu Kupu Kupu, got together to do the Ki Pai Pai Velina or opening ceremony for Merry Monarch 2024. And as per usual, it was epic. Speaking of Merry Monarch, since the last two episodes of this series were kind of on the heavy side i figure i go try and make this one a little bit lighter and it has to do with the ki pai pai velina that we just did for merry monarch so on the day of the ceremony we had a quick mass rehearsal inside of the hilo civic auditorium and there was this one kiki kane in front of me who was acting small kind jittery like when he was dancing he was my kai in fact his hula was actually really really good but once we stopped dancing he was kind of like moving all over the place and it was pretty clear that the kid was nervous anyway so at one point in the rehearsal he turns around and starts talking to me mind you i've never met this kid before but for some reason he just wanted for valao so he starts saying stuff like how on the outside he's smiling but on the inside it felt like his guts were like gonna rip apart from how nervous he was and so i told him like boy you got nothing to worry about because you're actually like a really good dancer for real kind and that seemed to calm him down like a little bit we talked for a little more and he eventually ended up talking to my hula brother who it turns out used to be a kumu at this boy's school eventually all of our kumu released all of us from rehearsal so we could go all get our ahu and go get ready and soro boy went mahalo me for talking story with him and he said when it's time for us to all come back and go inside for the ceremony he was gonna come look for me so he could stand with me before we all walk into the civic and work our unu magic and so off we all went to our own designated areas to go get ready so fast forward a little bit and the time comes for us all to make our way back over to the civic to get in line for the key pie pie the kid makes his way back over to me and he's like even more nervous so i try my best to distract him by just like talking story with him again asking him random questions and he eventually tells me that this is his first time ever participating in one of our big Merry Monarch ceremonies. And he wasn't even sure if he even wanted to dance hula. And I was tripping when he told me that. Because not only was this kid like a solid dancer. But okay, so there's like one point in the Kipai Pai where all of the Kumu Hula get up and hula together. And this Keiki would be watching the Kumu. And he would try and match the Pana or the rhythm of the Pahu. Like he was patting his knees on beat. And he had it so it was like perfectly synced up with the sounds of the Pahu. Once I saw that, I for real wanted to jump up and be like, Okay, whoever this boy's ohana is, and whoever his kumu are, please, whatever you do, don't let this boy ever stop dancing hula. He's a natural and he's got it. In fact, in my no eao brain, I literally wanted to create like a, a force field around him. So that like, no matter what, he keeps dancing. And I think the reason why I felt this like level of aloha and protection over this opio was because I know people within my own ohana who have kind of similar talents just let those talents go to waste. In fact, I strongly believe that if some of them just kept hula or Hawaii kind things and for some of them just dancing in general, it would have helped or given them like a solid practice or platform that would keep them healthy and away from toxic people and toxic patterns that many of them are still very much stuck in so yeah sorry for getting all <laughs> therapeutic on you folks but yeah i just really wanted to protect this boy from all of life's craziness just so that he never stops dancing but anyways back to the story so my hula brother and i assured the kid that he had nothing to worry about and we let him know that he's literally not alone on that stage because you know our unu army is pretty huge and he was doing good kind of calming down until one of his lei came apart and fell to the ground and poor thing the boy was stressing so i jumped in well technically my hula brother was like hello no el help him <laughs> so i did and luckily it was just his lei ai or the one that goes around your neck so yeah i jumped in quickly tied him back together made sure the thing was pa -a, and i told him okay boy it's pa -a. no worries it's not gonna come off again he thanked me and next thing you know the pahu start going we could hear the cunny of the poo and it was time for us all to jump into action Ah, 
after the ceremony was done, we all ended up back in the butler building to switch back into our muggle attire. And the boy, somehow in all of that chaos, somehow managed to find his way to me. He ran up to me and gave me a hug, thanked me for helping him out, and I had to ask him like how he thought it went. And he said he loved it. And then he said that he decided that he's definitely gonna keep dancing hula, which I was stoked to hear. Then he asked me, are you gonna be back next year? And I said, yeah, I'm pretty sure. And he was like, okay, good. I'll see you next year then. And I was like, okay, shoots. I'll see you then. Then he gave me one more hug and he went to go walk back over to his peeps. But then the boy does a quick U-turn, comes right back to me and he goes, let's take a picture. And I was like, yeah, I can. So we took a couple pictures together. And then I ended up calling my hula brother over because, you know, he helped this kiki out too, Smokain. And yeah, so here's the picture. But yeah, that was my mo'olalo pokole. Hope you guys can sense the feel good vibes right through the screen. And to the Kiki Vivo Ole that I spoke about in this video, see you next year, ba. And keep dancing. And to the rest of you, mahalo no ko oko ho aloha.